this whole thing started as a dead cover it's true. band, That's really. Yeah. yeah, Dogs in a Pile comes from He's Gone. Dogs in a Pile. Jimmy and I were both in other bands at the time when it first started, so it was, yeah, it was just kind of like a side thing. We'd all get together and play dead music with our, with our buddies and have a good time, play our friends' backyards and just... When did you guys decide, like, all right, let's play our music? So it was actually, it was Eric. Like, Eric? He yeah, was kind of at first. He tried to. Yeah, our original guitar player Eric was the first one who was like, you know, like this is fun and all, but like I, but like, you know, let's. He w he really wanted to play Steely Dan stuff, and he wanted to like write Steely Dan kind of music, yeah. which like I showed him Steely Dan. I was like, fuck yeah. Dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> When they come to take you down When they bring that wagon round When they come to call And drag your poor body down You I have a, I have a gas. It's Keith. It's Keith's Keith. in there, there's two drummers. 78, 79 was okay. kind of like, I don't know. That was not my guess. Snare sound was pretty round around then. And Jerry's voice also, he got like, I don't know, he got sick in 78 or something and it messed up his voice. He was sick for some shows and then afterwards it still had his voice a little messed up. So I'm thinking around there. I like the 77, 78 guess, I think. Yeah, I'm I was either. uh, I kind of had like a box around that. I had one seventy-four and eighty guess, but nah, there's there's only it's only Billy and seventy-four, right? And you heard two drummers. I think. I really hope I'm not wrong. I about thought that would be I, super I, embarrassing. I, thought, from, I I only started paying attention to the drummer situation at the end, but I thought I only heard one drummer. I think it's both of them. I like seventy-seven or seventy-eight. Uh, I was thinking 78, 79, so I think we should say 78. All right. Okay. It was um, Sugar Bee at the Capstan on September 26, 1976. Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so there were two drummers, though. You got that. Interesting. Like, um, Shit. We had thousands of drums in space. We kind of did. Yeah. Yeah. It was A couple only, weeks ago, yeah. Yeah. Only, <laughs> it was funny, though, because... The only other drum we had up there was this djembe that uh, Jeremy uses for this one song. And so everyone walked off. It was just me and Jeremy just hanging. It was cool. We need to get Joe a Mickey Hart beam kind of situation going. That, dude, <laughs> that thing is insane. Yeah, the first time I heard that at Ted & Company, I was like, what the fuck? I love seeing him get all <laughs> pissed off at it and kick it. <laughs> it's not working or some shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Kicks the thing. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Surprised it didn't like fucking fall over. So who decides who plays? It's kind of like a team thing. I like to like lead it and just give people a reminder early in the day. Be like, hey, these are some songs to think about. We haven't done in a while. And then it, and then it's usually. Yup, we have a lot of friends who are obsessed with the set. Oh, you guys should play this. You haven't played this. <laughs> Eighty. There, yeah, I have, a, I, have a, I, have a, I have a group chat with all like the diehard fans that they like text me and they're like, hey, you haven't played this in 85 shows, play this. I'm like, okay. One of the first things I think about is like a balance between different genres and styles of songs. And, and like, you know, we like to think about the market we're in, the crowd we think we're gonna see. Like tonight was not like a classic show of ours, but like it was like what we thought people here would would like to hear. You know, like our big like song right now, it's like this song like Appleseed, it's kind of got like a, on C EDM, like just real modern sound, like maybe not appropriate for a daytime set at this kind of yeah, festival. festival. Yeah. This this is a favorite of our fans for us to cover dead wise.
that's got to be no. like early '80s. <laughs> it's so like crisp. Yeah, the you the know, drum the, the drum sounds very crisp, right? Sounds like the '80s kind of. It's definitely like say. I don't know. It's tough. Does the sound quality? I mean, Phil that Phil is... sounds like he's playing the six string kind of right like just like it sounds like a modulus tone kind of it sounds like he's playing a pick with the modulus and i don't i kind of forget when did he start playing the six string and when did he start playing the modulus around 78 maybe no not earlier modulus no modulus came around early mid 80s mid 80s something like that it just like he's he's not playing the four string anymore you can tell that you know, like, yeah, just because, like, he has the more metallic tone that came in, like, 70s, 80s, I think. I think 81. That's my, that'll be my... All right. Uh, I'm going to say 82. Consensus. Okay. <laughs> it was uh, March 9th, 1981. <laughs> we knew it was 80s yeah, right yeah. away. Phil was not playing his four string, the various four strings he played anymore. Well, so I'm not I mean, entirely me, sure what year Phil got into the six string because I think he was playing. He well, had, he's, like, I just he mean a, he wasn't playing like that alembic, which had a different tone. No, almost, yeah, he you know, ditched right? the alembic. He was playing around like 80, 81. I think he was playing like a bass. It was like a four string that had like the same kind of body as like Tiger. You know, like that same. I'm pretty sure he's over there. We can <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, oh, it's our our worthy constituent, Jim. Jimmy, Let's. You know what they're doing right now? Let's have, let's have Jim sub in for one of them. Yeah, yeah, Jim, Jimmy, yeah, Jim, Jim. sub in. Help. That's Vince. You think? That's Vince. Hundred percent. With the string patch. Yeah. Dude, it's like 91. 90 or 91, you think? Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll go 91. All right. 91. Or is it? 91? Boston Garden. I had a lot of trouble hearing Bruce for some reason. Yeah. A lot of the shows that he's like been on. True. Just like hear that he's on it. Dude, also like, Phil's tone. Oh yeah. yeah we got 91. 91. Shit. Phil's tone in that too had like a different, like it was like more, it's like more mid, more mid range yeah, or something like that. Start using that keyboard sound to like late 80s almost, right? Yeah. 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 Super like electric. But it's weird. Then Vince came in with like that keyboard sound, but like with the string patch on it, which like I don't really recall Brent using much. So Jimmy yeah. pointed that out. I was like, oh. What is this string patch? It's like, it'll be the keyboard sound, you know, just like whatever sound you pick, and then it'll just like add this layer of... Of like just, strings? Like, yeah, you know, it just so sounds, sound like, like sounds like a violin. Sounds like a, like a yeah, it sounds like a string section, just like... Vince did it a lot. They use them a lot in, in churches and stuff. <laughs> okay. Do you guys have yeah. uh, My favorite year used to be 73. Because there's just... A lot of a lot of the recordings sound really good. It's just Billy. It's his, in my opinion, no, his, you know, his best playing 73, 74. It's just like, it's great. I remember finding a bunch of these like Here Comes Sunshines because they were just some of the sickest jams. They fall into these really nice pockets and the, like like just pocket stuff. You know, you don't hear the dead do that much. It's not really. But it was so sick and just like oh yeah, the drum comes, sound. Yeah. It's so it's it's great. It's, it's like the tight as hell snare, right? Just the way they would crack the snare on the backbeat. It's yeah. just like this tight snap, and they they don't you know they don't rebound from the head. They just snap it and keep it on there. You know, it's just a nice pop. It's really <laughs> it's a pleasing pleasing sound. <laughs> pleasing. It's uh, great. It's so funny. Do you have so I was gonna say seventy four, like as like. Like I have like two. There's a 74, cause like a lot of the similar reasons, and then 87, 
like everybody was looked like they were in really really good like good health and like yeah. happy and like yeah. and it's and the smiles around the whole stage you know with Brent and everything it's just like is it watching that now like I remember watching it when I was like like eight years old honestly when I was really young with my parents and stuff and now watching it now after doing everything and going to shows and shit it almost like it brings a tear to my own like oh. and I get more a, like pissed that I wasn't there, you know. I was just sorry. Gonna, gonna, I was just gonna say, seeing the way Jerry and Brent are like always, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Get down the road, 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 road. Well, thank you guys for your time. Dude, thank oh, you. Thank you guys. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Is out now. Yep. That it is. Cool. All platforms. All platforms. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>